Happy New Year! And um, in this video we're going to look at our plans for 2024. So what we've got coming up and our world domination. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, uh, as always um, at this time of year we release either a written article or like last year a video Vlog, I suppose. Vlog. 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 Uh, um, of what we have coming up for you, lovely people, <laughs> in uh, the next year, as far as tango is concerned. Um, so, where to start? Should we start with Welsh tango events, the big ones? Yeah, can do. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, obviously, we run Urban Tango Nights, big sign back there. Yeah. But we also run events like the Washington National Tango Festival, and that has given us rise to a brand brand we call Welsh Tango, which is for organising the big events. Um, it takes away some of the emphasis of Urban Tango Nights, we don't want them associated with the club, they are, they are events for the whole of Wales and for mm. basically the whole of Britain. Um, and they're meant to be inclusive events, um, we'll comment on what we mean by that in a minute. Um, so, uh, the first one is the showcase in February, Fe February, February the 3rd. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got quite a good lineup for that. Yeah. Um, the whole point of the showcase is to showcase Welsh talent. Um, so we all send out the invitation that anybody can apply to um, be part of this event. We've had that many applications, which is a bit sad, but yeah. hopefully it'll grow over time as people, more people see that this really is an opportunity. But we've got Mike Sean and Seawall teaching. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting, having three people teaching, as well as Mike. Never actually still been taught by him. Might no. actually get around to it this yeah. year. Um, and they're going to be teaching cross this way. So that's going to be a, um, a workshop on the cross. Mm -hmm. Uh, we then got Sarah and Tara, our assistant teachers, who are probably going to actually now are just our teachers yeah. as well. Uh, they're teaching also a workshop on the cross, which is about interesting ways to get into the cross mm -hmm. and experimental ways to of what you can do with the cross once you're there. Um, and then we have Eduardo Bozo coming along to do um, so for, um, forward cigars for both roles. Mm -hmm. And because it's on the first Saturday of the month, this is instead of our create malonga. Um, so then we have a, uh, um, a malonga after with all types of music. We're also really lucky to have Pauline Williams, who is an artist from Cardiff, and the picture's up there. Yeah. One of the pictures up there. Yeah. Um, and the one over there. Um, she's going along to show off her tango artwork and, and mm -hmm. hopefully sell some as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so the idea of this event is to promote Welsh uh, talent and also give people the opportunity to do stuff they haven't already done. So, <clears throat> I've noticed we haven't actually said who's DJing no. <coughs> at the, um, no longer. Yeah, that'll be good. <coughs> uh, so if you do want to have a go DJ, Let's know. <coughs> let us know. We have music licenses. Yeah. We also want people to actually have a go teaching as well, because yeah. we've got the insurance to allow you to teach. Mm -hmm. Um, and therefore bring people, I don't want to say out of their shells, but maybe give them... Just opportunity to give it a go, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then uh, after that we've got the spring uh, weekender. Yep. So uh, we held the first one of these in 2022. Uh, we didn't hold it this year because our headline couple couldn't make it over from Buenos Aires. But we do have Miku and Christian coming this year. Mm -hmm. uh, they're teaching three workshops. So the first one is a split workshop on ladies and oh, followers and leaders and technique. and technique. Technique. The second one is on smooth circular belows. Um, the third one is on cold gardens. And then on the Sunday they are teaching um, a two hour eight couple exclusive workshop. And also then we have Eduardo come in and I've totally forgotten what he's meant to be teaching. Um, no, I can't well, it's quite windy, isn't it's it? Very windy. <laughs> um, we really are blown in the new year. Yeah. Um, also, as part of that spring weekend, uh, we have a ball, mm -hmm. um, which will be held in the Lord Mayor's reception room at Brangwen Hall. So this is the room we used last year, and it's a stunning room. Uh, lovely wooden floor, balcony. You know, it's nice. Yeah, it's, it's very nice. <laughs> yeah, if you're one of these dancers that think venue is important and aesthetics of venue. But it's a good one for that. that. It's a really good one for that. Um, if you're one of these people who like music, it's a good one for that as well because we have the Tango Color Trio playing live. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Mickey and Christian are going to be doing a demo in that yeah. as well. And also, we have Tango FFS's Wayne Rosier 
DJing. And the reason why we wanted Wayne is probably because he's the best diverse tango DJ in the UK at the moment. Playing able to play anything from really early tango all the way through to the uh, sort of world of neo uh, tango. So, and then covering pretty much all bases. Mm. Uh, August, we have the uh, Nuevo and Neo Festival, which is the first festival of this type in the UK. Um, so, we talked about Welsh Tango being inclusive events. This isn't an inclusive event. If you if you only like traditional music, there is literally nothing for you in this event. No. Um, but um, if you are open to trying new things, yep. or if you like the new Avon and, and the Euro, yeah. then it's the event for you. Um, we've got an incredible lineup for this. Um, we put out an invitation on Facebook and in our newsletter, and we had a load of responses mm -hmm. from both the UK and Europe. Europe. We have. Everybody who applied from the UK, we have given a slot to. Yep. So we've um, got pretty much all the best Neo and Nuevo teachers in the UK coming to this. It's really uh, nice to be collaborative with the, with all the different little, all the clubs that are around and stuff. And also, you know, to bring them all together in one place so all the organisers can mm -hmm. uh, talk and make yeah, links yeah. and things like that. So we've got Adam and Leanne doing Colgardas, obviously best Colorado teachers in the UK. We've got Adam and Zoe, uh, no Adam and Zoe, Darren and, and Zoe. Zoe from Tango Northampton and also Tango in Somerset. Mm -hmm. Bit of a range they've got, but yeah. um, they're going to be teaching a couple of workshops. Eduardo as our usual staple of the yeah. Welsh, Welsh uh, Tango uh, events. Of Welsh Tango events, uh, bringing that Argentinian flavour to, mm -hmm. to it. And also since he grew up during the new way, the yeah. new uh, neo-era of Argentine Tango in uh, Buenos Aires. Um, we have Lorenzo and Ganka, need to work out what workshops they're teaching. I know they're also doing a tango yoga one as well. Mm -hmm. um, we've got Alice and Mark from Tango Encantado, who were running to Neo Longas this year as well. Um, so they're based in Cheltenham. Um, we have DJs, so who have we got for DJing? We have Chris Story, who isn't associated with a club, but he's a, does a lot of DJ, lots of traveling around Europe. Uh, we have Ali Pickard. Um, he was from Flintshire, um, so that's in Wales. Technically, yeah. So there was, an, there was another Welsh Neo Tango yeah. DJ out there. Um, we have Lorenzo. Lorenzo DJ, and we have Paul Anderson from Huddersfield Tango Loft as well. Um, yeah, so I think, and also it seems to be incredibly good value compared to other events, like eighty pounds for mm. um, a person to attend. 10 workshops and three longers. Oh, we also cover a tango playing live as well. We've had, we've had a good number of bookings so far, so that's yeah. good. Yeah, could do with some leaders booking, yes. which is odd. Cool. Normally when we run these new new Ava events, we have... More leaders. More leaders. Le but, we're, you know, we're only early days, so... Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be something mm. spe special. Um, like the festival, there's going to be plenty of food as well. Yeah, of course. There's always food at our events. Um, at the showcase, there is soup. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we haven't quite decided what the food is going to be for the spring spring one. We might do picnic in the park. So, yeah, it, yeah, it, it worked in May. It, it did work in May. Didn't work in August. Worked no, in May. Yeah. Um, and then finally, festival at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, we're still working on details of that. Uh, we've got some workshop titles up. We know we, we definitely have Nick, Nick and Deanna coming back, so you're guaranteed to have pretty much the best in the world teaching. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be teaching Technique Together 2, which is a follow on from the workshop this year. Independent workshop, we didn't have to yeah. have done from last year, but really delving into that technique side of thing. And they're also going to be doing backup, which is what happens when you end up with your back to your leader as a follower and what you can do. <laughs> Bless you. This normally followed by a series of sneezes. Oh, okay. <coughs> uh, then uh, they also do in their eight couple exclusive workshops with X and Y. Uh, Eduardo is coming back as well. He's uh, came up with, is it? No, no that, that, that's, that's the new way there was reverse cards there. Uh, one of them is called time dilation, oh. which is adding half time and double time steps to your common moveset to create uh, dynamics. And the other one is, um, okay, did come up with a good title for this, <laughs> uh, but it's basically heroes um, adding them into the line of dance and then also making your heroes travel in line of dance as well. Um, Turn around or something like that, might be. Um, we've also got Sean and Sue coming to teach again. Haven't got workshop titles from this. We're teaching, which uh, we're doing a bit of confusion. Might be the Zeke fusion this year. <laughs> um, 
We've also got two of our three bands sorted as well. Mm -hmm. So Tango Color are playing on the Sunday. We had originally hoped to have them on the Saturday, but um, Merrick had double booked himself with uh, <laughs> the Moscow Drug Club Jazz Band. Um, so our replacement Saturday act, um, and it's not exactly a bad replacement, is Little Rumba, mm -hmm. um, who are amazing. Um, really been adopted by the tango scene. Um, and we'll be working on the, uh, the other band. Friday night band. And, and then we'll work on the DJ lineup. But it's nice that we've got uh, quite a lot of choice of bands now. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Um, then we can also look at what other teachers we're going to bring in. We also have the conundrum of what we do about the role swapping and queer tango stuff, because that went really well in this festival. Mm -hmm. And if we want to be inclusive, when we say inclusive, um, I know lots of people will say, that their events are inclusive and they welcome everybody. Uh, when we talk about inclusive, we mean being actively inclusive. So actually going out the way to actually include more stuff. So yes, a lot of events will say that they're happy for man, man and man to dance together or woman to woman. We want to do something a bit more active in that and really try and promote it. So I uh, need to speak to Ray and some of the, mm. the queer tango scene to see what we can come up with there. And also get more of that role swapping stuff in yeah, as well. Yeah, I think people really enjoyed that. Yeah, and again, lots of food. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are the big four events. Mm. Uh, we also have our monthly events, which aren't actually monthly. <laughs> um, so which are our events in Macken, which are going to be free this year. Um, we've always been a bit dubious about doing events for free in Cardiff because we don't want to step on other people's toes there. Um, we know that from organising the point of view that if you put on a free event, some other teachers and organisers feel that they are trying to the undercut, I yeah, undercut others. Uh, our way of looking at it is always that um, you then have the money to then go to another event, and we of course, especially it's... now, um, yeah. you know, it, yeah, I think we've always thought of it that way. But I think especially now, if somebody can only afford to go to one or two classes a week, if there's a third class that's free that they can go to, suddenly that it opens up extra for them to be able to do, or even if it's just like you know, most of our things are donation based. Yeah. So, you know, if it's, you know, if one week you can put money in, that's fine. If another week you can't, that's fine too. It also, uh, for sort of that, uh, socialism in action, I suppose. Yeah. Um, those who, 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 who want to pay more can be. Yeah, which they do. Because... Uh, and I think, you know, we're just lucky with our venues and things like that. Obviously, that's not something everyone can offer. Yeah. So, um, what we, the other thing we're worried about is that some people then undervalue stuff that is free as well. Mm. And there are also other organisers undervalue other stuff that's free, and then they go, oh, it's okay for us to put on a clashing event because it's not going to affect their incomes or anything. It does. It still does, yeah. And it also segregates tango fan, uh, uh, the tango scene, so yeah. it's a really bad idea. So uh, that's also one of the reasons why we're filming this, is to get all our dates out now mm -hmm. so other organisers can put yeah, it together. Yeah, and our dates are on our website, and our calendar, and our Facebook. Yeah. So um, that's going to be free. There's still going to be the trip to the Chinese halfway through, yes. if it's open. If not, it's going to be to the Indian. Yeah. Or you can go to the Indian anyway. And we'll yeah. we, we go to choice. Yeah. Um, workshops for those. Um, uh, some of them will be tango in a day, so that's going to be the first one in right. January. So January's earliest start is 2 o'clock rather than the half five. No, yeah, half five. Uh, start. Um, so we'll be doing a couple of those throughout the, the year as well. Uh, other workshops will decide at the time. Um, depends what people really want. Mm -hmm. um, for one thing, we found is we look at we go to Malongas and we see what people need to improve on. So we t uh, put on workshop titles of that, and then the people that we're targeted never show up, mm -hmm. um, and the people who do show up are the ones who already know it all. It's like, <laughs> uh, so, know that aspect. Um, it's also quite difficult. We would love to teach all the really advanced stuff, mm -hmm. um, but people need to have the basics first. So it's um, Luckily, our teaching method does allow us to combine basics and advanced stuff, so probably be doing a bit more of that. Uh, events in Swansea. We'll be having some tango in the days throughout the year. The Crate Malonga is probably gonna, not going to run very much this year at all. Um, first of all, the February and August of Crate Malongas are on at the same time as we're running our Welsh tango events, so they are replacements for those. Uh, April, we are guest teaching in Tadcaster. June, we're guest, guest DJing and possibly teaching in Germany. So it only really leaves October. Yeah. And we might wheel that around a bit, yeah. maybe. Um, yeah. So, quick longer 
keep an eye out. We might run some other events instead. Um, regular classes? Yeah. They're, um, good to go. Good to go. We're starting again on the 8th of January with um, our new six week beginner course mm -hmm. in the evening. Lunchtime class, we need to, we want to try and the lunchtime class is always really difficult to sustain. Yeah. Just because students leave for holidays. Um, staff get busy. Staff get busy. So we um, need to um, work a little bit more on that. Um, Thursday evening classes. That should be fine as well. Oh, we should say in relation to our Monday evening classes, Sarah and Tara, uh, as I say, they're now teachers, are going to be teaching once a month, every month. Yeah. I can't remember if we said the third Monday or the second. But they are, will be TA, will have a regular slot now, that's where they will be teaching. Yeah. Uh, probably have to look at trying to bring on some other teachers as well mm -hmm. for when some, like... The reason we brought Sarah and Tara on is one, to give ourselves a break. Two, is to promote more tango teachers in Wales and bring them up to a really high quality. And secondly, if we're away... Um, or ill. Or ill, uh, we have people to cover the class. And that failed massively in September. When we were all away. When we were all away. <laughs> so, um, yeah, might have to bring on some uh, new talent. Um, yeah, so those are our classes. I think throughout the year, the uh, six weeks course will probably also between the Thursday and Mondays. Mm -hmm. Probably do some intermediate ones as well. Yeah. Um, so those are our events. Um, we are also going away to do some guest teaching and guest DJing. So last Sunday of January, which I think is the 28th, Tango Encantado, didn't ask me DJ and mixture of traditional and new Um February the 10th, um, the early bird for this event closes tonight, so if you want to get yourself a bargain, it's the new Ava or Nero or Dea with food. <laughs> yeah, the, I think the only event in the UK that can rival the festival for food. Um, uh, with Lorenzo and Ganka, um, Chris Story and somebody called Anna. Which I don't know is teaching that as well. So it's three workshops. Um, ours is on Sultadas, and then I'm also DJing in the evening. Um, uh, April, we've got Tadcaster Weekend. Again, the early bird finishes tonight. So that's now a weekend event. Um, we're teaching Baleos, I think, which is going to include some cool garlics. We're going to step on Adam and Jan's toes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then obviously June, we're off to Bremen. Which I forget now can I pronounce. <laughs> um, to the Neo Tango Rave. To the Neo Tango Rave, yeah. Um, so again, if you want us to teach or DJ for you, drop us a message. Um, we'll probably have more events coming up where we're doing stuff. Um, so again, keep an eye on our Facebook page. Um, anything else that you want to do this year? I don't think so. I think we've got a lot in there already. I'll yeah. talk about everything else that we do. Yeah, obviously got the wedding dances as well, so. Yes. Um, private lessons, we've got our uh, residential, residential weekend, weekend weekenders yes. as well, um, which can also just be an all a residential all day or whatever, mm -hmm. so um, yeah, message us if you want to do one of those. Um, something I was thinking about was maybe doing like a teaching seminar. Okay. Because we said in the previous video we wanted, um, la last year we'd been to see guest teachers or international teachers and they failed our teaching assessment mm -hmm. and yet we've go to sort of localish teachers and they pass it for flying colours mm. um, and also my so we don't want to do one of these things where we teach you to teach no. um, well we can teach you to teach but yeah. uh, it's I know there's groups out there that then give you a certificate and they're a bit mocked by other groups we don't want to sort of that sort of thing but it's more like what to consider when teaching what we've I'm trying to get it really discussive yeah. so uh, what are the pros and cons of using taxi system over the circular yeah. system? What's the pros and cons of doing a beginner's class followed by an intermediate class over doing one progressive class? Um, is Do you want to go for a really relaxed vibe like we do, or do you want to go for the really strict teaching type of thing? What um, yeah. Does they have all valid ways of teaching? Um, but you have to know what your, what, aims are. what your aims are. So I think that... that might be interested to do. Uh, again, I'm assuming lots of people go, I can already teach, I don't need to go to that. And some other people go, are we going, I, um, I don't want to teach, I'm not going to go to it. So, uh, well, I always find it interesting watching other people teach, just to see how they explain things in a different way. Because obviously, you know, we're all teaching 
roughly the same content and it's just diff it's nice to see people teach it in different ways or have a different perspective on it or a different way of explaining it because obviously like teaching sometimes people won't get what you're saying but if you say it in a different way or explain it in a different way then they'll understand it so mm. or you said tell on them yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's, i mean I, I enjoy watching people teach yeah that's one of the things i when Tal and Sarah teach, we actually learn something because we get to, it's, it's a bit weird because it's like a distorted version of our teaching. But yeah, it's, it's their interpretation of our teaching, isn't it, essentially? Yeah. So, but with their own other influences from their own teaching experience of other dancers. Yeah. And also, it's things like, a bit annoyingly, somebody came up, um, has twigged what we um, do for our events, like what, how we make them so good. Basically, we go to other people's events, see what's good and see what's bad. <laughs> we don't do the stuff that's bad and we combine all the good stuff together. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's because they're coming to our events, isn't it? And seeing it. Yeah, um, which, uh, oh, I'll secrets out of the bag. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's um, the same like when we go around seeing people's teaching. Like, you know, Adam and Yan, when they do their uh, negative demonstration, this is how not to do it and really highlight this is definitely not how to do it, yeah. Which is very different from one, the way that Basil Amandi, who probably like our mentors, yeah. did it, where they go, never show what's wrong. Or how to do it wrong, because yeah. that's when you hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah, so it's really interesting to see that. Yeah, different. Different. And so sometimes we do both, depending on yeah, how well. <laughs> risk assessment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, lots planned for you. Mm -hmm. All the events are also open for bookings. Yeah. Um, if you want to come to all four of those um big events get discounts there are discounts there's also like a package that i need to set up mm -hmm. which will be um i think it's 300 pounds for a single well that's the other thing we're doing or we're going to continue not having discriminatory um events for, in terms of followers and leaders we will never have a waiting list we will if you want to come to an event we will and we have a massive imbalance of followers or leaders we will work really hard behind the scenes to, to, balance. to, to balance it we won't say no you can't book on because you are a follower or whatever which uh, inevitably is followers yeah um so yeah we uh if you want to come to a, a single pass i think it's 300 pounds per person mm -hmm. and that doesn't get you the eight couple exclusive ones if you want to book on a couple you save about 50 pounds which would be 550 and if you do want to do those eight couple of exclusive workshops there is a pass for that obviously that's only open to couples and um, for that you'll get one of the nick and the anno eight couple of exclusive workshops and the um Miku and christian one and i think that's about 650 pounds and obviously if you came to this year's festival your 10 percent discount code runs out tomorrow <laughs> so you can really get yourself a bargain for that mm -hmm. Um, and we do group discounts as well, so if you can get uh, a group of you together, we've had a few in the last few years, which have been really good because a group of people come together, all stay in a hotel together, uh, shared lifts to the venue and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, we should also point out that when we say couple on our, mm -hmm. unless it's for workshop X and Y, which has to be lead and follow a couple, yeah. when we put down couples prices, it can be two followers, it can be two leaders. It's just two of you booking together. It's basically to again to promote this sort of idea of collaboration of people in the tango scene talking to together. each other and talking to each other and yeah. Because one of those things is, oh, I can't come to your event, so I don't think I'll know anybody. Or I don't know anybody, or I can't get there, or yeah. You know. Speak to somebody else. Come yes. as a pair. Come or come as a group. Yes, you better come as a group. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that's it. Mm. So as I say, happy new year. We hope you have a really prosperous twenty twenty four. And hopefully we'll see you a lot and dance with you a lot. <laughs> yes. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 24 minutes.